At launch, Hogwarts Legacy suffered from a lot of technical issues like stuttering, subpar race racing implementation, RAM and VRAM leakage, and more. And since then, Avala Software released a couple of updates. And because I was busy with the Returnal and Atomic Heart videos, I couldn't keep track of all the updates. But today, we will examine these updates, see what changed since day one, and also I'll give you some tips to improve the stability of the game. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, the latest patch note mentions some improvement to Ray Trace ambient occlusion. And if we compare launch day version with the latest one, yes, we can see better RTAO with more coverage. And the performance is similar between the two versions. However, RTAO still relies on SSAO and we can still see some screen space artifacts. And speaking of SSAO, these new updates also improve it as you can see here. And if we compare SSAO with RTAO, unlike launch day version, we can now see a difference where RTAO looks more realistic. In regards to other ray tracing effects, nothing changed. Both RT shadows and RT reflections still look pixelated and low res. But there is a way to improve ray trace reflections. You can do that by opening this run window using Windows key on your keyboard plus R. After that, type this command and here look for Hogwarts Legacy folder. And then go to Saved, Config, Windows No Editor. And here look for this file called engine and open it with notepad or any text editor. After that go and add these commands. This will significantly improve the quality of ray trace reflections. However, it will also impact the performance by around 38%. When it comes to the overall performance, there isn't a big difference between launch day version and the latest one, as you can see here in Hogwarts. But I've noticed in Hogsmeade that the RAM and VRAM usage is lower overall which prevent the performance drop we see in the launch version where the FPS is much lower. And speaking of VRAM usage, if you're still facing this issue where the FPS suddenly drop to the low 20s or even lower, you can tweak the engine INI file and modify the amount of allocated VRAM which what caused this issue in the first place. You can do it by going to the same file we modify to improve RTA reflections and add these commands. And here in this line called rstream in poll size, you should add a value corresponding to the amount of VRAM your GPU has. Here if you have a 4 GB add 1024, 6 GB add 2048 and so on. I'll leave everything down at the description. And my last advice is to cap the frame rates using Riva Journal Statistics Server by going here and adding your desired FPS or use the NVIDIA or AMD control panel. This will improve stability and make stuttering problems and FPS drops less noticeable. Here you can see with these tweaks and 75 FPS cap and my system, the game is a lot smoother with better 1% low and the frame time graph has less spikes. It's not a perfect line of course, but it's much better overall. And with that, we arrive at the end. Thank you so much for watching and for your time. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.